Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and I will show you how you can recharge the AC air conditioning by yourself. Now before I start with this video first I will mention it is always a better idea to have the AC recharged professionally at the professional mechanical shop just because they have uh, all the right equipment, they can completely evacuate the system, connect to both the low and high pressure ports and uh, then recharge the system. If you are doing it by yourself, you will have to buy a small AC recharge kit and connect to the low pressure uh, charging port. But if you are on a budget, this is definitely something you can try doing. Okay, so this is the recharge kit. It consists of uh, AC recharge hose with a gauge and it usually comes with two cans of the AC refrigerant. Now, how this pretty much works. First, you screw the can onto this side of the hose. Then you connect the other side of the hose to the low pressure charging port and then you pierce the can by turning this knob all the way in. And then you start the vehicle and charge the system. Once you get the hang of it, it literally takes a couple of minutes to recharge your system. One very important thing, you always have to keep monitoring this gauge because you don't want to get into the red, right? If you overcharge the system, then you risk damaging your AC compressor. That's something you don't want to do. Also, one more thing, uh, right here on the sticker, you will see what's the... Uh, AC refrigerant uh, factory charge so that means if your system is completely empty and you have uh, rear AC as well this is how much of refrigerant goes into the system 1.15 kilograms and if you have only front AC this is the number 0 0.82 but if your AC is only uh, if your system is only halfway empty that means you just have to top it up right and right here on these cans it's gonna say equivalent to 454 grams of r134a so this means this one can is 0 0.45 kilograms so if your system is completely empty and you have rear ac you'll need let's say two and a half cans and if you have only front ac just a little less than one can and this is something to keep in mind right but always just monitor the gauge and you'll be safe. Okay, so to start, first you will screw the can onto this side of the hose. Once that is done, you don't want to pierce uh, the can yet. You want to connect the other side to the low pressure charging port, which is actually located just in here. Um, now there is supposed to be a small cap on it, mine is missing for some reason, but just remove the cap and you will get access to the port. Also, it's a good idea just to get this cover completely off the way. And that way you'll have more space to work. Okay, one more thing. Uh, I just actually switched to a different hose. Uh, because the other one uh, was actually leaking last time I was charging the AC so and I forgot about it so I won't be remaking the whole video again just because of that so this is pretty much the same thing you don't want to get uh, over this blue line right here okay now to connect to the low pressure charging port just want to pull this uh, sleeve up and connect the port Okay, just like that. Once you have connected everything, now you want to turn this knob all the way in to pierce the can. And once that is done, you can start the vehicle and then I will show you how to start charging the system. Okay, so start the vehicle. Now you want to turn the AC on. You want the fan speed to the highest setting temperature to the lowest setting of course and turn the air cir circulation inside the cabin and I'll leave it like this and proceed outside to charge the system okay so I hope you'll be able to hear me 
because the engine is quite loud. So now you want to turn the can upside down and slowly start releasing this knob to charge the system. This doesn't have to be done fast, just take your time and slowly do it. And also keep monitoring the gauge to make sure you don't overfill the system. Now what I like to do when I may be halfway done and I've seen some results on the gauge, I like to take a break and proceed inside the vehicle to see if I can feel any difference. Okay, so just give it a try and see if you feel the air being blown outside the vents is any cooler. In my case, I can definitely feel the difference. My system was actually not completely empty. I will just have to add uh, maybe one can. And now I can go to proceed to charge the system, but make sure to watch that gauge. I will repeat that several times throughout this video. Okay, I will also show you how my gauge looks right now. You see, it's at the bottom of the blue. So I will add a bit more just to get maybe in the middle or higher end of this blue mark area. And that's it, that's good enough. Okay, and now just continue charging the system. And once you are happy with the results, you can turn off the engine. Okay, now to disconnect everything. If you still have refrigerant left in the can, you first want to turn this... Uh, knob all the way in so it doesn't leak out through the other side once you disconnect it okay and once you've done that you can just safely disconnect the low pressure charging port and that's pretty much it now if you have to add one more can you will just follow up the process from the beginning so you'll remove the empty can, then you will attach the new can, then you'll connect the low pressure charging port and then you will pierce the can and start charging the system. And that's it. All this will work in case there is no major leaks in your AC system. If there is a leak or if your AC compressor is not working, then unfortunately you will have to take the vehicle to a mechanical shop and they can test for any kind of leaks, test the AC compressor and then uh, fix it and then you can recharge it. Now if you have a minor leak in the system you can try using something like this, it's called a stop leak. Now this will help to seal and condition O-rings and minor AC system leaks. Now I tried a couple of times, it did actually help, but like it says it can be used only for smaller leaks. And then you should be good uh, with the AC over the summer and then recharge it again next summer. But eventually those leaks will get bigger and you will have to fix it. But this is also just something to keep in mind. And that's about it. This is how you can recharge the AC by yourself. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it in a matter of a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful and educational, if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.